Final Cut Pro provides several ways to output your sequence once it's complete. Your output method will vary depending on whether you want to send your final work back to tape, to a QuickTime movie, or compress it for DVD, the web, or portable devices. There are three methods for tape output. Edit to tape, print to video, and direct recording from the timeline. Edit to tape provides frame accurate assemble and insert edits, while the print to video command is useful in situations where timecode accuracy is unavailable or unnecessary. Direct recording from the timeline is less reliable and dependent on the quality of real-time playback from the timeline. It should be used only for rough cuts and experimentation. To edit to tape, make sure your recording device is online and connected to your Mac. Choose File, Edit to Tape. The standard viewer is replaced with the Edit to Tape window. It contains three tabs, Video, Mastering Settings, and Device Settings. The Video tab enables you to cue and preview the mastering tape using the standard transport controls. At the top is a mode pop-up. Choose the mastering default when outputting an entire program with leaders. Choose editing when you need to insert a clip or selection of clips into existing footage with frame accuracy. When in editing mode, you can set the in and out points for the insert edit using the familiar in and out entry boxes at the base of the video tab. Use the black and code button to stripe a tape in preparation for recording. This will completely erase the contents of the tape so make sure you have the correct mastering tape in your deck before performing this operation. At the lower right is the audio insert menu for record enabling the audio tracks for your device. Next to it are buttons for record enabling and disabling video and time code. In the mastering settings tab, choose your leader and trailer options like bars and tone, a slate based on clip name, custom text, or a custom graphic, and either the included Final Cut Pro countdown or one of your own choosing. In the media section, choose whether to print your entire sequence or only the content between the in and out points marked in your timeline. You can also set the content to loop multiple times. At the lower right is the duration calculator that displays the length of your source media and the total length including the leader and trailer options you've selected. The Final Device Settings tab displays the device control and format settings that will be used for the recording. To perform a basic assemble edit of your sequence, make sure you're in mastering mode and that your tape is striped with control track. Simply drag your sequence from the browser over the video tab and choose Assemble Edit from the Edit Overlay. Any unrendered clips will begin to render and then the edit to tape will proceed. Press the escape key if you need to abort the operation. Print to video is very similar to edit to tape with the exception that you manually arm the deck you're recording with. Select your sequence in the browser and then choose File, Print to Video. Select leader and trailer options just as you would for an edit to tape. Click OK. Start your tape deck recording, then click OK to the final prompt. Your sequence will play out to tape. When it's complete, stop your deck to halt recording. If your video is destined for DVD, take the time to add chapter markers in your Final Cut Pro timeline. Chapter markers can be added later in DVD Studio Pro, but not with frame accuracy. Adding chapter markers is simple. Make sure no clips are selected in your sequence by clicking in the gray space above the video tracks. Move your playhead to the start of a scene you want to mark as a new chapter. You can use the up and down arrows to quickly jump between edits for this purpose. Click the Add Marker button at the base of the canvas or press the M key. Click again or press the M key again to bring up the Edit Marker window. Give the marker an appropriate name. Click the Add Chapter Marker button to convert the marker to a chapter marker. Notice that you can also create compression markers. Compression markers can be added before and after big changes in your footage, such as transitions. Compressor can then use these markers to better encode your content to MPEG-2. Continue to add additional chapter markers as needed.
Now, to export your content to DVD, make sure your sequence is selected in the browser and choose File, Export, using Compressor. Compressor will open, ready to encode with your included chapter markers. View the Compressor tutorials for more information on preparing content for DVD, the web, and mobile devices. If you just want to export your sequence to a QuickTime movie for archival purposes or for repurposing elsewhere, choose File, Export, QuickTime Movie. You can export using the current sequence settings, select a different preset, or choose Custom Formatting and Codec Options. Notice that you have the option to include markers you've set using the Markers pop-up menu. And for Quick Client Previews, you can use the standard QuickTime Export options by choosing File, Export, Export using QuickTime Conversion. Finally, for export of several different sequences at once, Final Cut Pro includes a Batch Export command.